Hi, I'm Alex Giuseppe. I'm the farm manager at Cooperative 518 as well as the resident chef and today we're going to be making stuffed zucchini blossoms with a kale basil pesto. The first process of this dish is to make the batter that we're going to fry the squash blossoms in. So our ingredients for that is going to be some rice flour, a light beer or water, whichever you prefer, some salt, pepper, and a bowl. So we're going to start off by mixing about two cups of flour, about a quarter can of beer, a pinch of salt, and a pinch of pepper. I want to make sure that you mix this nice and well. So you're looking for the consistency of a light pancake batter. Once your batter is nice and combined and all of the clumps of the flour are gone, we want to put this in the refrigerator so it stays nice and cool before we fry. Alright, now we're going to start to make the filling for the stuffed squash blossoms. So we're going to take a bowl and add our ricotta cheese, our mascarpone, also, if you can't find mascarpone, you could use some sour cream, or you could skip that all together. And then we're going to take a cheese grater and grate our Parmesan. And then add a little bit of salt, some white and black pepper mixed together. Take some garlic chives, you could also use scallions, whichever you prefer. The mince these nice and small. And then we're gonna put maybe about a quarter cup of olive oil. So you have all of your ingredients, we're gonna stir this, mix everything together thoroughly. All right. Once everything is combined, this too you could add to the fridge. Okay, now we're going to start working on our kale and basil pesto. So it is best to do this in a blender. If you don't have a blender, a food processor should work just fine. Um, so first we're going to take Tuscan kale. You could use any kale that you can get your hands on. I find Tuscan to be the best. So the first thing about this is that we want to de-vein each leaf. So you basically just hold the end of it, peel the leaf right off. I'd say about one bunch, maybe a little bit less of one bunch of kale should do the trick. And we're going to move on to the basil. Same thing. You don't. You could leave some of the smaller stems, but we want to remove the main stem. And for this, it's going to be about equal parts basil to kale. This is always something good that you can make a lot of at once. You could throw it in a Tupperware and put it in the freezer. Now, traditionally with a regular basil pesto, you would use pignoli nuts or pine nuts. For this, we're going to use walnuts. It's a little bit cheaper. And I like the taste a little bit more, especially with the kale. So I'd say maybe about one cup of walnuts. We're also going to add the juice of one lemon. And then we're going to use about an entire bulb of garlic. If you're getting your garlic from the Cooperative 518 farm store, this time of year it is fresh and not cured, so it's very easy to peel, but you want to make sure that you remove the thin paper. If you have trouble peeling, you could also use the side of a knife and squash it like this. Okay. Next step is some Parmesan or Romano cheese. For this we're using Romano. If you don't like the taste of these cheeses, any hard cheese will work. Preferably you want cheese on the sharper side. Okay, and then the last bit is a little bit more olive oil. Just 
Put it on the blender. goes for about a minute make sure that you give it a taste and this is something that you can adjust based on what flavor you're looking for if you want it to be a little bit more basil a little bit more kale you can add more of those ingredients I think we need a little bit more salt and we're gonna add the juice of a second lemon for a little bit more acid And as you saw, I was adding some more oil as it was blending. You could always do that to get it to be a little bit more liquid. And I think I want to add a little bit more basil as well. Let's check that again. Yep, that's what we're looking for. Okay, now we're going to move on to the squash blossoms. Okay, so now it's time we're going to stuff the squash blossoms. So, old zucchini are asexual crops, which means that they produce both a male and female flower. The female is which bears the fruit, the zucchini or summer squash. And in this case, we're using the male flowers for stuffing. So in order to stuff them, we're gonna take just a regular Ziploc bag, and we're going to fill it with our cheese. I like to do a little bit at a time so it's easier to handle. Once we have it in, you're gonna take a knife and cut a tiny corner off. Now you have, in essence, a pastry bag. Now in order to stuff, you're going to find an opening in the flour, insert the pastry bag, and squeeze. You probably want about two tablespoons per flour. If you have difficulty opening up the end of the flour, you could also just peel it back a little bit because we're going to be battering them so that will hold everything together. And you can open it this way so then you have less trouble. And I should mention, before you batter it, you want to make sure that you have a pan on about medium-high heat. You can either deep fry or pan fry. For this, I'm going to do a little bit in between. Put about an eighth of an inch of a high heat safflower oil. You can use vegetable oil or canola oil or any blended oil, but I do not recommend using olive oil because that has a very low burning temperature. So while we're waiting for that to get up to temperature, we're gonna take our batter and our squash blossom. We're gonna make sure the whole thing is coated, twirl it around. And once we're up to temperature, place it in. And it's gonna be about a minute and a half to two minutes on each side. Just like making pancakes and you see that it starts to bubble through the batter, that's how you know that it's starting to be ready and it could be flipped. I'm gonna lift it up with a spatula, grab the stem and flip it over just like so. It is best to serve these immediately when they come out or else they begin to get a little bit soggy. I'm gonna get a plate ready. For this, we're going to put our kale pesto on the bottom of the plate. Make a little mound on one side. I'm gonna take the back of the spoon and spread it out. I'm gonna grab the blossoms. You 
can take some thyme or any other herbs that we have on hand, garnish it, make it look pretty for your loved one. A little bit of extra olive oil. A little bit of fresh ground pepper. An extra sprig of, sprig of basil. And there you go, that's it. Stuffed squash blossoms with kale basil pesto.